Okay, let's resume where we left off last time on Let's Play Pokemon Red version. Last time we pretty much plowed through Saffron Gym after saying goodbye to the Silk Corporation and giving the copycat a Pokedoll for a Mimic TM. Okay, and uh, her third Pokemon is Venomoth, a bug poison type actually, which really doesn't belong in this gym, but whatever, she has one. I'm gonna burn it down with fire. Which is critical hitting, of course. <laughs> in fact, that Venomoth would have been better off in the previous gym, actually. <laughs> and Alkazam, her most powerful Pokemon and the one that I've been looking out for this entire LP. Let's start off with Earthquake. It's the fully evolved form of Abra. It has two spoons instead of the one that Kadabra had, and it's got a ginormous mustache! And those are just its defining... Game to armor? And those are just its defining features from its physical appearance. It is a very fast psychic type, and is very strong as far as its special powers go. But, other than that, that was an easy battle. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. And so, another gym down, and another badge in my pocket. The Marsh Badge makes Pokémon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokémon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't re raise your Pokémon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. And TM46, which is Psywave, creates... Or uses psychic power to... Or, it creates psychic waves to inflict damage. Jeez, I messed up that line of dialogue. Everyone has psychic power. People just don't realize it. Well, I certainly can't bend a spoon with my mind. Can with my bare hands, though. But that's probably beside the point. Now to get out of here and move on to the next city. Which will be after a long excursion over the seas. After um, a very long series of warps. Okay, here's the exit. Psychic power, huh? If I had that, I'd make a bundle at the slots. Dude, get a job, besides the one that you're currently doing. And I'm now in the Statue of Trainers. Okay, time to fly to Fuchsia, actually. Because that's basically my next stop. Or at least the next landmark for me to go. And there's a couple trainers just south of here, south of Fuchsia, and this place will be perfect training grounds for, uh, for Mythbuster. Plus, it's also the home of only one Pokémon, as far as surfing goes. Because we're going to be doing a ton of swimming. And, uh, <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be very annoying, actually. <laughs> Considering I'm only going to be finding one wild Pokemon here, and it's a very annoying one. It's because of the fact that it's the only one you can find on this route. I have to warm up before my swim. And that one Pokemon... We've seen it several times before in water-based areas, and that is the very Pokémon that we'll be seeing a ton of. Tentacool it is water poison, and it is the only Pokémon that you'll be seeing on this sea route. So get used to it. Oh yeah, here's Shelter. And doesn't that look a lot different? than the shelter that was on Slowbro's tail. Yeah, during the evolution, Slowpoke the shelter. I mean, Slowpoke to Slowbro. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> it 
it goes under some sort of bizarre transformation where it gets all distorted and stretch out. All warmed up. Thanks, kid. I'm ready for a swim. No problem. And now for the other guy. Wait! You'll have a heart attack! And that's just really random and... He never even tells you why. I mean, seriously. He just randomly challenges you to a battle after saying, You'll have a heart attack! But never gives any explanation why. Maybe... Out of surprise from being challenged by him? I mean... I'd probably get... Most people would probably get surprised by a person who just runs up to them out of the blue and says, Wait, you'll have a heart attack! Ah! Or something along those lines. <laughs> and they wouldn't even be expecting it. Uh, let's see. Star you... Yeah, I think... I think I know where a couple of my PP ups I've collected will probably go to, probably to Thunderbolt, because it's going to be very useful, especially here. Oh, that's chilly. I don't see any chilly around here. Or was he, uh, saying something else? Watch out for Tentacool! See, he doesn't even explain why he, I would have a heart attack. Okay, there's a... This room is very large, and there's trainers all over the place, but not that spread out, actually. I look at the sea to forget. Forget what? Who you are? Where I am? Who am I? Who are you? Who is that? What is that? Huh? Who? What? When? Where? Why? Huh? Hmm? Anyway, horsey. We've seen a bunch of these already. I still have yet to catch one myself, but I just don't remember where I go to fish for them. That's basically it. And uh, in a few battles, I'm gonna have to restore Mythbusters Thunderbolts. Well, I think I might have some ethers and elixirs on me. Do I? I'm looking at the sea to forget. Do I have any? like that? No, I don't. Well then, it's a good thing that I'm right in front of the coast so that I can get some from the PC. At the very least, that's very useful. Hmm, hold on. Um, I don't think I'll be using the Psywave TM, so that I think I can sell off. Do I have space to withdraw anything? Uh, let's see... Oops, not that. Okay, I do have space for it. Okay, that's good. Now then, for Elixir, let's see... Oop, did I just pass it? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, crud. Oh well, at the very least, I can still heal up right here since I'm right here at the Pokemon Center. Um, on the route that we're going to be going through, there are seven trainers, and then the, it connects to another route which has quite a few other trainers. Oh, it has eight trainers, so there's 15 trainers on these two wire routes that we're going to go through. And they're kind of spread out as far as location goes. And begins the many tentacles, and they all are at random levels. So, yeah. Get ready for tons of annoyance from tentacles. Heck, there's... The majority of Pokemon games have tentacles in almost every body of water. I still have yet to catch one here, so when I find one that's at around level 30, I know that they can be at that level in this area. So... Hmm. Okay, that's one of the first trainers. I love swimming. What about you? 
if I like swimming, I went for a swim earlier today, actually. And the water was really nice. Oh hey, it's a polywag! Haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, oh yeah, I think this guy also has polywags evolved form. Yeah, that, that reminds me, I don't think I've done the trade in this version for Jinx. <laughs> I know I did it in blue, because Jinx was a, planned mem was a planned member of my team right from the get-go, actually, I think. Belly flop! I can beat Pokemon at swimming! Okay, next trainer is over here. What's beyond the horizon? More and more ocean, until you reach land again. But as far as this game goes, it's a bunch of rocks that blocks the path. And there's no opening in the, those blocks. So you can't really advance further than where the blocks outline. Which is kind of funny that there are a bunch of rocks a whole rock formation that just naturally appears in a, pretty much like an almost perfect rectangle outlining where you have to go. But then that's basically just what most roots in this game are. Oh boy, the, these tentacles are starting to get to me already. Even when they belong to trainers. And I still have yet to catch one myself. For the Pokedex, of course. Not that I use it in this game. Uh, but we'll be getting a team member soon enough, actually. Both of my two remaining ones, actually. Oh, well, I know it's kind of late into the game to get two new team members when I should have probably had them long ago. I've seen a couple of islands, but once the time comes for when I get those two team members, I'll train them a ton off screen. Darn it, that one's not strong enough. And basically up to around the levels that my current team members are at. Uh, I missed somebody? Oh yeah, I missed this guy. Oh, he was right over there across from the other trainer. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. Yeah, because you don't have that option in this game. You do in one of the Game Boy Advance games, and I think in the DS games, but not here, because that move does not exist yet. But can't blame him. Unless he was just trying to dive down himself and not through the use of a Pokemon move, but whatever, there's a big difference between that. Oh hey! Mythbuster is now my highest level Pokémon. And he's probably going to be gaining a couple more levels on this... Uh... Ocean Voyage, I suppose. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a cruise by any stretch of the imagination. Oh hey, Sea King! Uh... Is it just me, or does that thing look like an omelette? with an ice cream cone on it. I mean, seriously, it looks just like one. <laughs> that's just probably my imagination playing tricks on me or something, but that's just what it looks like to me. HELP! You have to fish for sea Pokémon, but yet you can't while surfing. Okay... Whoa! A whole ring of trainers. These waters are treacherous. How so? All the tentacles? Is that what you mean? Whoa, five Pokemon. Oh yeah, and right as soon as I mention tentacle, he has one, and I'm guessing that it's probably a full team of tentacles minus one empty Pokeball slot. Oh well, at the very least, Easy experience for Mythbuster. Yep, it's starting to look like a tentacool jamboree here. 
Oh well, at least they go down in one hit from Psychic, due to a huge level advantage and super effective damage as well. Oh hey, Star you! Okay, I was wrong, and I'm glad that I was wrong about him having a full team of tentacles, because at least he has some variety. Let's see, Horsey! Okay, so hopefully he only had the two tentacles. Soon enough, I'm gonna have to use my Ether or Elixir. I forget which one. Oh, Tentacruel! That's the evolved form of Tentacruel, and. Basically, it just looks like Tentacruel, only with extra tentacles and two spikes coming out of its face. Can't really see the spikes in that sprite, but it has them, trust me. Ooh, dangerous! I got a cramp! Okay, let's see, how's Mythbuster doing on attacks? Five and six, okay, I think I'll restore... Uh... Okay, good, that's the one that I was thinking of. Uh, yeah. Actually, I think I'll let that one go and just go after these three trainers. I like your your ride. Can I have it if I win? I wasn't actually looking at what he said for that first line of dialogue, <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's what she said. At the very least, I'm glad that I restored my Thunderbolt PP for this battle. So now I'm back to full 15 uses of Thunderbolt. Okay, Goldeen. Maybe I should switch out to someone else, but using Thunderbolt is the easiest option for me at the moment, really. Uh, let's see, Sea King. I wonder if this trainer has the evolved form of Horsey. I don't think we've seen that actually yet. If, if not, then that would be kind of cool if this trainer had it. Oh, another Goldeen. So, a Horsey, two Goldeens, a Sea King, and one more mystery Pokemon that we. And I have no idea what it is. Okay, come on. Let's see. Okay, it's a Poliwag. Not what I was hoping for, but still, it's something different to bring some more variety to this team. Here we go. So now that takes care of another trainer. Oh, I lost! It's still a long way to go to Seafoam Islands, but yet that's not my destination. I'm just gonna swim up to there, and then back to mainland. I swam here, but I'm tired. And yet you're keeping yourself afloat right here. Oh well, I'm not gonna argue with their logic. I'm just gonna roll with it, just like I usually do. <laughs> Along with Electrocute, a bunch of fish-based Pokémon. Like Staryu, who's based on a starfish. Does she have two Staryus and a star me, or just three Staryus in general? Because if if it's either one, then that's just gonna be kind of silly. Let's see, three Staryus. That's just silly. Oh well. I guess I can't really decide what trainers have on their teams. I'm exhausted. And yet you were able to swim up to me to challenge me to a battle. Lapras is so big, it must keep you dry on water. I'm not on a Lapras, I'm on a Vaporeon. Swimming is great, sunburns aren't. Yeah, swimming is great. It's good for exercise. It also refreshes you, but sunburns... Those hurt. In fact, I remember one time when I 
went kayaking and I had put sunscreen on all over, but one place where I didn't was the lower half of my legs and those got completely sunburned because it was one of those open leg kayaks. So yeah, that it really hurt to walk around for a while there. No, I think that was a few years back, so whatever. Shocker! Yep, especially after using Thunderbolt. Your boyfriend wanted to swim to see for miles. Okay. So now, we're in a new route, I think. Yep, that square of, uh, blocks. I don't know what else to call them. Whoa! Two trainers facing the same exact way. Uh, let's see... Why are you riding a Pokémon? Can't you swim? And that does bring up a good question. Does the main character that you play as in this game know how to swim? Or does he not know and has to rely on his wire Pokémon to ferry him across the ocean? That's actually a very valid question, actually. Or maybe... maybe the game designers just didn't want to... didn't want the player to be able to go anywhere, anytime, right from the get-go, considering there's water at Pallet Town. If you could just swim right away, then you'd probably get to the next town that I'm heading to, and hey, there's horsies of all forms, Seedra! Hmm, looks kinda weird in this game, but... And again, they usually do in this game. All Pokemon in this game usually look kind of weird compared to how they do now. Man, the Mythbuster, you're breaking up the levels here. Um, Horsey, I mean, Seedra doesn't gain any new typings, but it's definitely a lot faster. I think it can learn Poison Sting or something to an extent. Ouch! Torpedoed! Torpedoed? What? Right, a Pokemon sure looks fun. It is. But wait, before I go into that battle... How am I doing on the uses of Thunderbolt? One! Well, I certainly hope this person has tentacles, then. The water is shallow here. Oh, so that's how these guys are swimming so easily. Then again, we are coming up to a landmass. Shelter. Okay, I'll use my last Thunderbolt on this, then I'll use my Ether after this battle. Because I can't use it in battle. <laughs> no, that would be way too convenient. Don't you think so? I could still like that. Oh, Cloyster! Uh, that's the evolved form of Shelter. You get it by using a Water Stone on it. And it gains and ice typing as well. So, fire becomes regularly effective against the cloister, actually. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Splash! I don't remember how well it does for grass moves on it. I wish I could ride my Pokemon. Okay, time to restore the... Uh, you know, we haven't even run into too many wild encounters during this this uh, trip over the ocean, actually. I mean, I've only gotten, like, what, five battles? Oh, and there's the island, actually. Seapum is a quiet getaway. Yes, it is, and oh yeah, there's actually a trainer over there. Oh, okay, there's actually nine trainers on this route. Not eight, I didn't see the trainer on my map that's at Seafoam, actually. So that's actually a good bit of trivia there. And how many times did I say actually in the last minute? Okay, horsey. So we're working the evolutionary line backwards now. Oh well, it's still good experience to me. Two Cedras and a horsey. Okay. I guess once that horsey gets enough experience, it'll become a Cedra eventually. 
Okay, and another victory for the psychic Pokemon. Quit it! There's a huge cavern underneath this island. Yep, and welcome to the Seafoam Islands. I'm not even going to be going in here for the longest time. Considering there's some stuff here that I want to do, but I don't want to do it right now. See from islands? Here's that trainer that I didn't notice on my map earlier. Oops. No, not you. Okay. I love floating with the fishes. Okay, so this one trainer is the only one that... The last one that I can reach without going into the island itself, actually. Considering the uh, block, there's a blockade there at this island that prevents me from just crossing over from one island back onto the rest of the sea route. Youch! Wanna float with me? Okay. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, see these rocks? They're the only thing preventing me from just swimming across. And yeah, that's basically all of this route that I can access at the moment. However, there is another route that I can, that I can take. And now, bird mode activate to Pallet Town, back to where it all started. And since Mom here heals your Pokémon instantly, I can get a free healing. And also... Take a swim here. Which also means that, uh... Oh yeah, there's also this bit of grass here. I think you can find Tangela here. At least, I believe you can. Well, let's take a look. Where is it? Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, you can find Tangela here in this route. Or in this tall grass, actually. So I think I'll send out Flapper to try to catch it. Well, to catch a Tangela if I find one, but they're kind of rare, actually. What with all these Rattatas inhabiting this place? Yeah, I'm not gonna be battling the Rattatas. I... you don't wanna waste time with them. Oh yeah, there's also Pidgeys, probably also Spearows. Kinda of funny, you staring down a Pidgey with a Pidgeot. I guess it's a nice little way of reflecting on how far we've come. And we still have a little ways left to go in the game before it's all over. Now this game is actually kind of coming on. Now that I think about it, hello Tangela, the only pure grass type in the game. Let's use Swift. I don't want to take it down actually. Okay, one more Swift I do, despite that absorb, which barely did anything. I'm just hoping I don't get a critical, and hopefully I didn't jinx myself with that. Okay, that, that, that's pretty good. Let's try for an Ultra Ball. Tangela is not my fifth planned member. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Basically, the next town is, that we're going to is going to be where I get my next te team member. Okay, on, I got, like... Three, at the most, three turns left. There we go. Tangle is caught. And let's see, Pokedex entry. The whole body is swathed with wide vines that are similar to seaweed. Its vines shake as it walks. I wonder what Tangle would look like without all those vines on it. But then again, that would probably defeat the purpose of it being a vine Pokemon. Uh, actually, yeah, I want to give it a nickname. And this one, 
goes to all the Mario fans out there. Shy Guy! Because it's always hidden within vines. You can only see its eyes and feet. Huh, nice moves. Constrict bind, absorb, and poison powder. And I believe that was the only Pokemon that I wanted to get from this place, and... Oh, look at that, we're all out of time for this video of Let's Play Pokemon Red version. So I suppose in the next episode we'll be going on to the next city. About time, actually, and... I suppose I'll meet you right back outside this house, back at the entrance to the water route, and we'll be going further on from here. So, I'll meet you here next time, and I'll also sell off all the unnecessary TMs I've collected that I'm not intent and I don't have plan on keeping as well, off screen, of course. So, yeah. See you next time!